When I was younger and I used to train on my own, whenever I'd walk out onto the training pitch, I'd always pretend as though I was walking out into a packed crowd. And so I would take my time to applaud everybody as what you see the professionals do on a game day. I figured one day I wanna play in front of a crowd, so I might as well get used to it now. This is the mental challenge. Your challenge is to create a habit that helps put your mind into a positive state. For a little bit of help, I've recruited a couple players to offer up their ideas. Hey guys, Laris Mobiela here. So what I'm doing personally to get myself ready mentally to play a game is just diving into my memories because when I think about all the things I had to go through as a teenager, especially when I signed to the PSG Academy and you know, the adversity we had to play against, the treats that we, re we used to receive during the games and the fact that we I still could make it makes me think and believe that nothing is going to be like that anymore. Because right now it's much more easier to play in just front of back stadium than back then with people having dogs treating you around the field. And on top of that, I just add the fact to this, uh, the, to some music because you know, music helps me a lot to dive into those memories and feel the atmosphere and just entering into that mood to, uh, to, to make me feel that, you know, today is going to be a good day. I used to do a couple of things before games to get myself in that positive mental state. The first one was I would write two things down on a note card about what I wanted to focus on for the game. Uh, one would be offensive, one would be defensive. For example, offensively, I would want to focus on maybe playing uh, a pass to break lines to get the ball into the forwards. Uh, or maybe I would focus on a run I wanted to make in the box to score a goal. On the defensive end, I would focus maybe on uh, being physical with the opposing team striker, uh, maybe some sort of communication to hold the line where I wanted it to be, uh, or uh, anything that had to do with uh, making sure I was defensively switched on. The other thing I would do before games, which really got me in the right mental state, uh, would be I would watch uh, a video of pictures uh, of my friends and family of me, you know, growing up playing soccer, uh, that would really just put me in a really uh, nice state of mind uh, and uh, keep me positive before the game. And that really uh, gave me the energy, gave me the focus that I needed to perform. Portland Timbers, Kenny Cooper here. I hope this finds you all safe, healthy, happy, and well. Uh, two things I did throughout my professional and youth careers is I always dreamed big and I believed big. Uh, regardless of my circumstances, whether I was injured or uh, starting games, coming off the bench, left out of the squad, whether I was scoring goals or not scoring goals, uh, I always dreamed big and believed that those dreams uh, could happen. Um, I wish you guys all the best. Stay healthy and safe, and God bless. Bye-bye. Some great ideas to help put your mind into a positive state from Kenny, Nat, and Larice. Big thank you to them. Good luck with the mental challenge.